This is Anthony from Adelaide, South Australia. He's angry that he's a musical failure, so he's traveled to see me, Matt Farley, in Danvers, Mass. I'll teach him to earn money and to be an artist of the middle class. This is... <laughs> Five songs left, and Matt's had nothing but good things to say about my work. So I decided to give the people of Boston a taste. Jaws 3 is such a masterpiece. It's better than most of the Lord of the Rings franchise. Jaws 4 wasn't very good. Because Jaws 3 is the best. It's the best movie that has ever been made. Eight cents. Not hugely successful, but okay for my first gig. I'm sure they'll do better online. But it's got me thinking, what does success look like? How far can you really go? Mary, will you go to the prom with me? Did that one and Janine, will you go to the prom with me? And uh, yeah, the local paper, it's embarrassing though. I, you know, I, I contacted them to ask them to write an article about me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Wired magazine. Uh, this is a legit magazine. You guys heard of Wired? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's written more than sixteen thousand songs, available on iTunes and Spotify. Are any? Are they any good? No. Of course not. Can you believe that? I, I bet he listened to less than five. I think there should be daily headlines about me on every newspaper, like Matt Farley continues to exist. But the headline is always, this jokester spam artist has figured out how to cheat the system and steal money from Spotify. I'm like, is it cheating the system to sp put your heart and soul into a project for a decade? Oh, my goodness. I'll choose to refuse that this is anything other than fake news. There's a French one, uh, sans talent, it says, which means without talent, and then well, whose face is right next to it? <laughs> Why do you think they target you? Uh, well, you know, I'm not writing glossy pop music, so... Um, so to the untrained ear, it might sound like talentless, uh, opportunistic uh, spam music, but you know, this is gosh darn beautiful art sometimes. I don't see um, Ed Sheeran level, you know, I don't see <laughs> selling out uh, 20,000 seat arenas. Thank you, Adelaide. Oh, poop, 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 poop. poop. You sing along with me, Adelaide. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see that happening. I wish I was, you know, considered along lines of Bob Dylan, Van Morrison, Joni Mitchell. You know, um, that's what I thought I was. That's why I still think I am. You know. Heard she got married and the baby she carried came out beautiful and bright. She forgot all about that night. People kind of write me off when they, they know I write silly songs. Like, what? Don't you laugh sometimes and then cry other times? Or not just one thing? Believe it or not, the more artistically pure route is to stay home, make these great songs, but also make a bunch of crazy, insane, weird, songs that are often considered bad spam and you know 20 years of churning away and then some people from Australia will come with questions about it and you can say I did it <laughs> oh poop poop poop, poop, poop for Matt poop, poop, success is about doing what you love to create a life worth living regardless of what people may think of him yeah I'll take it poop, poop, poop. <laughs> you can hear it in his music just how much he enjoys making it Yet because he makes so much and has found a way to make a living in doing so, he's deemed a lesser artist. A lot of people who say his songs aren't songs, I think are really mistaken because making people laugh 
it's really underrated. <laughs> poop, 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 poop. I've really never met anybody with his drive and his stamina to do this kind of creative work. He always finishes what he starts out to do, and I think that's very admirable. I don't think there's another person in this world like him. I finally realised my approach to this was all wrong. I thought that I could sell out from the beginning. But you have to earn that right after years of hard work and dedication. Two things I was hoping to avoid. Just like releasing this music. I'm being filmed right now While I write this song And I don't like singing In front of people and there we are. That's song 99. I feel a mixture of pride and shame. On one hand, I've worked hard to achieve this goal. On the other, people might actually hear what I've made. I guess I'll see how my first album goes before I decide to live with these feelings for the next 20 years. But whatever the future may hold for me, I've still got one song left to write. And I want one of the 100 I've made to be good. Come in. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. Nice little setup, huh? One, two, three, one, two, three. Matt enjoys the process of making music, regardless of the end result. So while I may not be ending this as an accomplished novelty songwriter, I sure have enjoyed trying to become one. Anthony thought that he should come to see Matt Farley. Matt agreed that he should be on TV for the ABC. I don't know, there's not a big demand for songs about Australians who fly to the US. <laughs> to meet songwriting to meet masters. <laughs> but you could pl plug in a different um, songwriting master and a different yeah. apprentice every time. Do like 10,000 <laughs> versions. There's so many ways you can waste your life, <laughs> you know? <laughs> your name is Anthony Fred. You're a genius filmmaker. You're a fine documentarian and a great interviewer you got great taste and who should be the subject of your docos oh yes you do your name is Anthony Fred I used to offer my friends rides to the airport just so I could force them to listen to my music while I was driving that's how desperate I was to have anyone hear it so I'm doing great compared to that